All right, welcome back for another video of Central Florida prepping. Uh, just got finished with a previous video. I was talking about uh, stockpiling your normal rotation foods that you normally eat, how you get started on that. If you ain't seen it, check it out. This video here, I want to talk about your pets. Okay, some of us have pets, just like family. Me, I'm a dog person, but I don't have a dog right now. Um, it's been years since I've had one. Just lost the other one, didn't want to get another one until, you know, until I cope with it, you know. I need that closure. But when I met my wife, she's got uh, two bunny rabbits. Oh, yeah, we got, we got bunny rabbits. And now where I grew up in North Carolina, we had bunny rabbits too, but they weren't the household pet. Let's put it that way, okay? Um, so this video here is about prepping for your pets. Now everybody knows, you know, what your pet eats. When you think about them too, when you're doing your preps, unless you're planning on eating your pet, and that's probably not a good thing. You know what? Make sure you got prep so you don't have to eat your pet, okay? That's just, don't do it, all right? Just, no. Eat the neighbor's pet, that's a different story, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna catch some hell over that one, I already know. Uh, but anyway, okay, so, we got rabbits, all right? So, we gotta look at what rabbits eat. Uh, grass. No, they eat Timothy Hay. They eat a lot of things, but that right there is their main food source, Timothy Hay. Okay, you can keep your rabbit alive with just Timothy Hay. Uh, so, we we buy most of our pet supplies at Walmart down the road from us. Um, so, yeah, Timothy Hay, we stockpile up on that. We've got uh, our, our guys, they'll eat one of these, these, this isn't the biggest bag, this is the second to largest. One of these will last two weeks, okay? We have four months supply of that. And of course, rabbits love their pellets. We got six months of that. Now, pet feed is not the cheapest because you know they got the small packs and they got the bulk packs well when you buy a bulk pack you're gonna be paying a lot more um but they're your pets okay i mean how much you love your pet you, you want them around right uh, with rabbits and the food section you also gotta have bedding for their hutches you know if, unless you're just letting them run around and do whatever on the ground all the time i mean our rabbits, they do. They run around the house. Okay, you know, I'm not gonna say they lock them up. You know, they're not. They're not meat rabbits. Let's put it that way. And before we get in the whole uh, animal cruelty issue, well, I'm a country boy, all right. Sorry, not really. But so those are the basics we had to do for rabbits. Now, when stuff, when SHTF happens, and it is a massive one grid down economy screwed, major depression, you know, I don't know how it's going to, it's going to happen. All right, I've got four months supply of hay, six months supply of pellets. What am I going to do after that? I'm in central Florida. Uh, there's not really a lot of feed stores around here I can go scavenge from or barter with. And before we get in too much, I'm not talking about just looting just because everything's gone to hell. Uh, we're preppers, you know, we don't we don't need to. That's why we prep. We don't have to get illegal stuff. We can just do our preps and let everybody else do their thing. So, did some research, and we always have, we, you know, we grow gardens. I grew up in Carolina, so we, we, we do a lot of things. And I'm trying to figure out, well, what am I going to do for these rabbits when we run out of supply? I'm not sure I can sit there and keep on buying, keep buying, keep buying, and getting another year's supply for the pets. Or, I open this bag up <laughs> on the bottom. I'm retarded. Okay. So i got to turn around this way. 
Grass, Timothy Grass Seeds. This was a uh, this was a pound. It cost me thirteen bucks. Bought online. I actually went through Walmart.com and they uh, you know they got third party whatever, but got hold of it. Um, yeah, the reason it's open is because we're already got hay seed in the ground. Uh, the main reason why it takes so long to grow, and I want to make sure that I'm already harvesting new new hay when the stuff happens. So when this stock runs out, I'm not going to run out in our backyard where we're growing hay for the rabbits. That way, they constantly have a food supply. Sounds like a good idea, right? Well, hay, along with a lot of other things here in Central Florida, is difficult to grow. Um, we do not use fertilizers, we do not use uh, pesticides, we don't use anything in our garden except for water and natural pesticides. We're, I'm, I don't like using the word organic, I, I'm not a hippie. Alright, um, but I guess technically we are uh, when it comes to um, fertilizing for nitrate and all that other stuff. We, we have to look it up, which another good thing to do buy some books all right most libraries have old books that they don't have any circulation anymore and they just they can sell them you know you get them cheap you can buy them online of course and you're gonna pay more for it there's some used bookstores uh, online I bought my kids some uh, books some kind of like a oh I don't forgot a little detective book thing kind of like the Hardy Boys but they ain't the Hardy Boys anymore somebody else but anyway I mean I got those for like two dollars a book you know, uh, get some books on things. You're going to need it. All right. Internet's going to be gone. You are going to need information. Information, knowledge is power. Got to have it. Okay. Um, unless you're just going to be led by somebody else. Me personally, I don't want to lead anybody and I don't want to be able to lead me. I just want everyone to leave me alone. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Now I believe in community. All right. I wasn't always that way. But learned to appreciate community and see the need for community um, so yeah you know we had to figure some things out you know to make sure we could always provide for our animals you know we started watching uh, water intake how much how much water do they drink how much water do we need to supply these animals during this time on top of our normal drinking water um, their feet you know how much does that bag of hay or seed you know pellets last a month a week you know Start start taking account on stuff like that. Then when you go to the store, let's say you get a dog, cat, you know, dry food, can uh, canned food. One reason I love dogs eat anything. I think cats do too. Just I'm not a cat person. It's just not that I have anything against cats. It just you know, dogs are awesome. But anyway, um, you know they eat just about anything. But let's say you're having to hunker down for a while. Let's say something's really going on in your area and you can't get out. You missed your window to get out, so now you're trying to just blend in where hopefully they overlook you, or if they try to come in, you're just going to you know, take, take them out. But let's say you're stuck somewhere. you you got to hunker down, and you got to hunker down for a while. You want supplies for your pets. Dogs, cats, you know, birds, whatever. Start buying a little extra there, okay? You, I know, it would be nice if we could all just go up. If, if, if prepping was cheap and easy, well, prepping's easy. But if prepping was cheap, everybody would be doing it, okay? Well, anybody with a brain would be doing it, okay? They know that they are not always going to be took care of. Um, society can't. It can't function that way. It's, it's, gonna, it's, it's designed to collapse. I mean, it's going to run out of money. You can't keep taking care of everybody and expect the taxpayer to support it. Eventually, it's going to be there's going to be an issue where there's just no money to do it. Plain out simple. The way I look at it, anyway. So instead of being worried about it, we took steps to make sure we don't have to worry about it. That's what people with pets need to do too. Um, dog, cats, whatever. So buy an extra uh, bag of dry food for them. It lasts. Buy an extra. You get some cans of um, you know dog food and the wet wet food and all that stuff and put it in a rotational stock like your food stock. We do the same thing with the rabbits, the hay and their, um, their, their pellets. 
We'll buy it and we'll open up the bag, use it. Well, when it's used up, we'll go get another bag, pull it out of stock and go buy one to replace it. Usually though, we buy two to replace it because, you know, we're trying to expedite our prepping a lot more with everything that's been going on. And there's, there's a lot of things going on. Maybe I'll do a video on my thoughts of what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, and not from, you know, some being, but from other people, uh, other news feeds besides our mainstream news feed. Uh, I, I call it underground news, you know, it's, it's, that's what they're being treated like. And they will provide the documentation so I can look at it and see it myself. So, buy extra foods. Um, as far as what pet to have during the end all, be all, all that good stuff, whatever, so your pet's your companion. Yeah, I know you can get, you know, guard dogs and stuff like that to help protect your property, protect your house, nothing wrong with that, but we have pets for companionship, you know, um, and most people right now, that's what your pet's for, okay? Now, if you got, you know, you're living a real life, whatever, or, you, you know, there's nothing wrong with having guard animals at all, I mean, hell, one of her uh, rabbits there, she, she called him Dante, um, it's a big lug. It's, 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 if anything, it's a Cletus. But uh, he sits there and thumps the floor with his rear feet every time he gets upset or spooked to hear something outside. And loud enough, I can hear him in the back bedroom. Of course, I'm getting up. I think someone's coming in the house. and I'm, I'm coming in hot, and no, it's just him eyeballing me because he hurt something. But, you know, we're in tune to our animals, our companions, and we know something was wrong, so you know, we check it out. Um, not going to make a big rant and video on this thing. So basically, I'm just saying, just don't forget your pets during your preps. Okay, rotate their food, especially the canned goods. They definitely have an expiration date on them. Rotate them out like you do your normal food stocks. Okay, again, buy one can of food, or, or one not just total. Buy one more can of food when you go buy his stuff. All right, or hers. You know, it's just the way I talk. I don't mean nothing by it. When you buy your, you know, you buy your pet's food once a week, once a month. All right, if you're doing once a month, buy a couple more. But if you're doing it once a week, just buy an extra can. All right, that's an extra meal for that dog or cat or whatever, you know. You don't have to run out and buy a $1,000 for the stuff, but if you got the finances for it, hey, go for it. But if you're just a normal person trying to make ends meet as it is, just a little bit here, a little bit there, it does add up, okay? Alright, see y'all later.